right, guys, so let's talk about the different versions of ReefCast. We've got an app version, we've got a modern version, and a classic version. So the app version is available for both iPhone and Android. The modern and classic are available for, for both phones and on the website. So you can have whichever way you want it, whether you're on the app, you're on the website, you can have modern or classic either way. As I go through and, and, and explain ReefCast to you, I want to do it off the classic one. And I'll tell you why, because it's a little easier to understand. So we're going to give you a map. Regardless of what the map looks like, you click on the map. You got three versions, ReefCast, ReefCast with extra wave data, or Ensemble. We're going to start with just regular old ReefCast. When you click on that map, you're going to get a graph that's going to show two things. It's going to show you wind speed, wind direction, wave height, and wave period. So up the left side, up the left side right here, this is your wind speed, and this is your timeline, okay? Really simple to read. We come over here Tuesday at noon. We come up to the top right here where the blue blob hits it, and we read it over here on the side, 28 knots. Same thing from the wind direction. We, we come over to where the red line is, and we read it over here west southwest pretty simple here's another one this is wednesday at noon you come up to where the blue blob is you read it over here on the side eight knots come up to the red line read it over here north northeast fairly simple fairly straightforward the thing that i like about it is that in a glance you can tell an entire week it's telling you more than just the wind speed and wind direction and a lot of people don't catch on to this they go and they look at it and they go you know well this is what it says and that's what it's going to be all day no that's not right if you look right here, look right here, seven knots. So it's showing the wind direction is stable, but the wind will start swinging toward the west, north, west and north overnight and increasing as the day goes on. Look at the wind speeds right here. See, see where she's climbing over the course of the day? That's really cool about ReefCast because you can see over the course of the day, it's going to go from two to four to 10 to 20 over the course of the day or whatever it happens to be. You can also see which way the the winds are, winds are going to change around. I find this extremely helpful when I'm bottom fishing. If I know beforehand that, hey, the, it's going to be swinging from east around to west over the course of the day, I can kind of get out in front of it as I'm anchoring the boat. Now we're on the, uh, the wave height and wave period portion of it. Once again, the wave height is up the side and the dates are across the bottom. Same deal though. We come up Tuesday at noon. We come up here to where the blue blob is. It's 11 feet. We come up to where the... Uh, the red line is eight seconds. Thursday at noon, three feet at nine seconds. It's also showing that the wave height and wave period is stable throughout the day. Remember us talking about that whole period thing. The wave period is going to increase just a little over the course of the day. So you can see over here where it's just kind of gently sliding up and you can see where the, the wave heights are staying pretty constant all day long. How to use ReefCast with extra wave data. What I want you to do is I want you to notice all this stuff. When you see all this stuff in the area that, 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 that you're wanting to go fish the next day, know that there's gonna be more than one sea. Know that it's probably gonna be sloppy. So regardless of which way it's going and what it's doing, who cares, there's gonna be more than one sea and it's gonna be sloppy. There are times you won't see any of this over the entire week. There are times when it's like this, where it's just jumbled up coming from every which way. Know that anytime you see extra wave data, it's going to be sloppy that day. I'll show you how to read it though. So the blue, the blue area shows the primary wave height, wave period. The orange circles here, see the orange circles? This is your primary wave direction. The thin red line, that's this one. This is the secondary wave period. And then the yellow line is the secondary wave direction. That's up here. Like I said, I wouldn't worry about reading it. I'd go, hmm, looks sloppy to me. That's what I told people for years. Here's how you read it. ReefCast Ensemble. When we very first came out with ReefCast, I was running the 56 Custom out of New River. And we'd run the forecast and I'd go fishing. And we'd run the forecast and I'd go fishing. And then we'd run the forecast and I'd go fishing. Day in and day out, the thing that I, I noticed was that if the forecast was stable, then I knew I could take it to the bank. When the forecast was jumping all over the place, it was ReefCast telling me, I don't know. So I came up with this idea to take it and run the model repeatedly over time. So come out here. You see this black line? This black line is our latest model run. If you come back, you see the red line? The red line is six hours ago. 
And then the green line is six hours before that. And the other line is six hours before that. All we do is go back in time and go, okay, Reefcast, what did you say for this area the last time you ran and the time before that and the time before that? So what you get is this kind of spaghetti looking thing. I want you to look right here, all right? It's all over the place. It's saying, I don't know. It might be six foot, it might be three foot, it might be four foot, I don't know. Don't y'all wish the National Weather Service would tell you that? Damn it, man, I just don't know. I think it's gonna be about three foot, but I don't know. Look out here. Look how tight those lines are together. When a reef cast gets like that, I'll take the money out of my back pocket, slap it on the table, and I bet you. When you see them lines tight, basically you can trust it. Questionable forecast, stable forecast, questionable forecast, stable forecast. Reef cast accuracy. I had reef cast here for North Carolina and that was it. Then we got the bright idea where we were gonna go national with it. So I upped the data sets, went all the way around the country, spent almost a year error checking it in the Gulf of Mexico and California and up in north against the buoys to make sure we had it dialed in just exactly right. We release it to the world. Not gonna name any names, but, but someone, someone from the industry called me out on a major national website and told the world that what I was doing was a guess at best and I was a joke. I did not, did not, I, I, I just didn't say one word. It turns out that the reef cast that he had posted was from a thousand feet of water about 25 miles away from where the buoy was. So I fixed that and I went in there and got it right on top of the buoy. And then, you know, every single day I drop a few more dots on it. Never said a word. Didn't, didn't speak one way or the other, just kept posting the pictures. I want y'all to look out here. Look at the red dots. All right. Now look, looks like we missed it right there, didn't we? A little better over here. Look at the yellow. And that's out seven days, guys. That's pretty, pretty stout. And if we go back to the ensemble version in that first shot, look, solid forecast. Anywhere there was a solid forecast, we were pretty much spot on. Questionable forecast. Look, Reefcast is saying, I don't know. All right, so we're off here. Solid forecast. Look at this. Proof's in the pudding, bro. <laughs> you go seven days out, and what am I? Off a of foot at seven days? Ah, uh, hell, I'll take that. I'll take that all day, every day. You'll find these results to be fairly typical of Reefcast. When, it's, when, it's, when Ensemble shows it as a solid forecast and says that you can take confidence in it, you can take it to the bank. So guys, let's talk about the modern version of ReefCast. So basically, think about analog and digital. Analog is that classic version. It's that static image of the graphs. Well, the modern version is digital. And what's really cool about that is you don't have to read it. It'll read it for you. So you, you click on the map and you get a graph. Up here at the top, this is where we pick which version it is that we want. Do we want ReefCast? Do we want Ensemble? And do we want Classic? And then the next row of buttons is the various layers that you can look at, okay? Anything that's green is active. So right now we're looking at ReefCast with wave period and wave height active. Here's a nice pretty graph and we read it really simply. So the wave period is blue and the wave height is red. I just took these the other night. This is where that, uh, that big wind came through the other night. So you take your mouse and you put it over any of these dots, any one of them, and it'll automatically read it for you. And this works for any, any of the data sets, whether we're talking about uh, extra wave data or we're talking about uh, wind speed or wave height, whatever it is that you're talking about, all you do is look up here and see which one is, is, is on and then put your mouse over it and hover over it and it'll read it for you. In this case, the wave height was 7.85 feet. Here's another one where we put it over it. Wind speeds, 20.18 knots, along with the time, of course. And here's the ensemble version of it. If you recall, anytime that we've got, we've got a solid, stable forecast, then ReefCast is saying, I know. And when, the reef, when ReefCast is jumping all over the place, like it is here, that means, well, I don't know. It's the great thing about ReefCast and the great thing about the, uh, the ensemble version.